Have you ever experienced hearing your own heartbeat? Poor Johnny has been hearing his heart pound loud and clear in his ears for the last couple of hours. But what can possibly be causing this? What about sounds from outside of the body? How do we actually hear a sound? Every sound, whether it originates from music, someone's voice, or a whistle, is a pressure wave that travels to your ear. Sounds move not just through air, but also through any gas, liquid, or solid. Let's follow a sound wave as it travels into the ear. The sound travels through the air of the ear canal, pushes and pulls on the eardrum, which moves a series of tiny bones, which in turn push and pull on a window of the cochlea. The cochlea is a spiral inside a hard bony shell that looks a lot like the shell of a snail. Inside the cochlea are thousands of cells called hair cells. Every one of these hair cells has a bundle of tiny hair-like projections called stereocilia. The stereocilia, in turn, move back and forth due to the disturbance caused by the sound wave. The hair cell is surrounded by two different fluids called endolymph and paralymph, and the hair cell itself has a different fluid inside it. These fluids have different charges as well as different ion concentrations. Let's take a quick detour to understand what might cause an ion or a charged particle to move. Particles with positive charge don't like being around each other the same way that negatively charged particles don't like being around each other. So if one fluid's overall charge is more positive than the second fluid's overall charge, positive ions will wish to balance out the charge by moving from the first fluid to the second. But they can only move if the door is open. These doors are called ion channels. When ions are moving, electric charge is also moving, so something special happens. An electric current. Electric currents are what power our electronics and our lights, and they occur in our bodies as well. Looking at the hair cell again, when there is no sound wave disturbance, there is positive charge outside in the endolymph fluid and negative charge inside the cell's fluid. When the stereocilia bend in one direction, ion channels open, allowing positive potassium ions to flow into the cell and help balance the charge. Every rush of positive ions into the cell also told the cell to open more ion channels for calcium. The rush of calcium into the cell tells the cell to send the chemical called glutamate down to nerve cells. Glutamate tells nerve cells to send electrical signals to the brain. When stereocilia bend in the other direction, positive potassium ions are pumped back to where they were before and the process cycles over and over again while the sound is being played. But the most important thing here is that ions are moving, so charges are moving. This tiny hair cell has turned sound, which was at first a wave of pressure, into an electrical signal that changes with time and can be processed by the brain. All of this together is how we hear sound. Everything happens so quickly that we think we hear a whistle at the exact moment that someone blows it, but really it takes a little bit of time. So what might cause Johnny to be hearing his own heartbeat? One common reason involves noise in the arteries near the ear. The heart has to deliver oxygen to many parts of the head. Arteries circulate blood through the brain and even the muscles of the ear. If there is an abnormal change in these arteries, such as a narrowing or an obstruction, the flow of blood through the artery might start to make noise. The kind of noise that will make the hair cells in your cochlea shake. So yes, in a way, Johnny is hearing his own heartbeat. This condition experienced by 8-10% to of people is called pulsatile tinnitus and there are many possible causes. Some are serious and some aren't. The best way to find out why you are hearing your pulse or why you experience anything out of the ordinary is to talk to your doctor. So go see your doctor, Johnny. I'm sure you'll be fine.